So I've just opened up Insight Explorer, and as you can see, my Insight network is blank. I'm not connected to a camera or an emulator, so I'm going to add an emulator. The way you do that is you scroll up to System, click on System, and move down over Options. You want to click on Options, and it'll give you the option for emulation. So select that if you haven't already done so, and check Use Emulator. And you can select the model of camera that you want to use. You can select any model. There's quite there's a selection of everything that Cognex has ever made. But I'm fine with the 9912 camera. So I'm going to click OK. And just let it process for a little bit. There we go. So now it added the emulator. Now the options menu didn't fully, didn't close, so you just got to click OK. And now it's just, software is just refreshing. And we can see that the emulator is here. And now when we click on the emulator, we go to connect. And see now it is connected. You've got this uh, green screen with the green uh, rectangle around the outside. So now I can go and under my images, I can go play next and I can start moving through images and do what I need to do. Now, if you notice, the image here is quite small. The reason why is because this camera is a 12 megapixel camera. It's the largest one Cognex makes. So you can see if I scroll down here, my pixel value is quite large. So maybe this isn't the right camera to be using it for. And so for that, you just go to emulator. And what I want to choose, I want to choose something with a, or a 600 by 800 is what I believe these images are. So select an Insight 2000 230, for instance. And changing emulation modes will erase your job. So you either want to save it, or in this case, there was no job. So I click no. Now I just got to let it process. It's still processing. Yes, this can take a while. Now it's refreshed. And if I go to my image and play next, it now fills up the right size of the screen. So there you have it. That is how to connect to your emulator. I hope you have found this video useful. If you have any other questions, check out our other videos or get in contact with us through our website. And be sure to follow us on LinkedIn to stay current with the latest products.